So you want to edit faster in DaVinci Resolve, you want to feel like you're organized and you want to be able to get more work done in less time. One of the simplest ways to do that is to set up custom UI layouts. Come up to the workspace and you can start to configure things for your default setup. I'm going to turn on my second monitor to use as a color grading monitor. I'm going to switch into full screen window mode just to give myself more space on screen. If I wanted to and I was operating on a smaller screen, what I could do is turn off this show page navigation. Watch what happens at the bottom. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm going to turn off the media pool. I'm going to turn off the inspector if it was on. And I'm also going to switch into single viewer mode just so I can see what's happening in the timeline. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select the video track height and select the audio track height. And I'm going to make this bigger so I've got a nice big view of what's happening in the timeline. I'm going to use this setup when I've got all my clips in my timeline or I quickly want to just edit the video without seeing all of the extra clutter. Once you've set up your starting works, Space, come up to the workspace menu and come down to layout presets and choose save layout as preset. Give the preset a name. I'm going to call this edit focus and click OK. If you do want to make changes to a preset once you've set it up, you can come back to the workspace menu, come back to layout presets, choose the preset that you've created previously and choose update preset. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to turn on the media pool. Let's turn on the inspector and to load that preset, come back to the workspace menu, back to layout presets, choose the workspace customization that you want to change to and then choose load preset and watch what happens now. Everything resets to the preset as we had it set up in the first place. So I'm going to use this layout as the basis for the next custom layout. And for this layout, I want to set things up for when I'm actually adding clips. So I'm going to turn on the media pool. I'm going to come to these three dots here and I'm going to turn off smart bins. And instead, I'm going to turn on power bins and expand this up. And these power bins I use for all sorts of things that I use quite often. So this layout I'm gonna use when I'm putting together my timeline for the initial edit or the initial construction of the program. And in this case, perhaps I wanted a bit more space in this window to work with the clips. Come back to the workspace menu, back to layout presets, choose save layout as presets. And I'm gonna call this one edit adding clips. You can call this whatever you like and click OK. Now if I come back to the workspace menu, layout presets, we've now got two presets we can quickly switch between. If I want to just focus on the cutting, I can choose edit focus load preset. And if I come back to layout presets, choose edit adding clips, I get back to this layout. But that's not all. DaVinci Resolve 19 actually made these custom workspaces even more usable. Oh, and by the way, these layouts also apply to the other pages. So you could create custom layouts for the color page if you wanted to. When you create a custom layout, it also saves the UI layout for the other pages within DaVinci Resolve. So what is this cool feature from DaVinci Resolve 19 that makes custom UI layouts so much easier and actually worth doing half the time? It's the fact that now we can set up custom keyboard shortcuts for these first five layout presets that we create. To do that, come up to the DaVinci Resolve main menu, choose keyboard customization. And what you want to do in this search box here, search for workspace and then just come down here and expand layout presets and you can see we've got these five possible shortcut keys that we can set up and these correspond to the first five custom UI layouts that you create. To create a keyboard shortcut for one of these layouts, click on it and click in this box here so it turns red and then just use your keyboard to select a keyboard shortcut combination. I'm going to use the Alt and the numeric keypad number one for preset one. And for preset two, I'm going to use Alt and the numeric keypad number two. Once you've done that, you need to click save. And if you haven't currently customized your keyboard layout, you need to enter a preset name for the new keyboard layout. I'm just going to call this DaVinci Resolve plus workspaces and click OK. You can see at the top now we've switched over to this custom keyboard configuration and then we can click close. Now what I can do on the keyboard, if I hold down Alt and one, it's going to switch to one layout. And if I hold Alt two, it's going to switch to the second layout. So what we're doing here is we're switching between these two layouts really quickly using Alt one and Alt two. Subscribe for future DaVinci Resolve tutorials and feel free to check out this DaVinci Resolve tutorials playlist and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.